Now, as candidates hit the campaign trail, we're starting to hear more from voters. Turnout is massive. We know what we're fighting for. It's real because so many younger people are misinformed. Well, tomorrow, Beyonce will campaign with Vice President Harris in Houston. That's uh, Beyonce's hometown, while former President Trump is out west hoping to flip Arizona back to red. Now, one of the issues at the top of a lot of voters' mind tonight is the economy, from inflation to the rising costs of housing. 10 TV's Tara Jabor spoke with voters and professors today about the economy and the presidential candidate's plans to improve it. And Tara, what did voters tell you today? Well, Yolanda and Angela, I spoke to a lot of voters today. Some people told me that the economy is their number one issue when casting their ballot, while others people, other people told me they aren't really worried about it. The polls are already busy with people voting early. Voters in Franklin County say the economy is something they are definitely considering. Some people say they think the economy is doing well. My understanding is that there's jobs being created, so there's a lot of positive stuff. I'm used to not having any money, so I'm used to budgeting. Others told us they are worried about the economy. Right now it is suffering. And why do you say that? I work in construction and I can look out there and just see the, uh, the level of work starting to drop. And the prices just go to the grocery store. Inflation is another big factor for the people we spoke to. Oh, it's definitely there. It's much higher now than what it what our Social Security COLA is. I mean, two and a half percent. It's not, it's triple or quadruple that. I believe that they will eventually go down. They will eventually go, and which they are going down. So I'm not too worried about that. I am retired, it, but. The prices don't affect me that much because it's just me. Both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump have big plans to improve the economy. Each one has laid out that plan. But how much of an impact does the president have on the economy? We asked economics professor at OSU, Bruce Weinberg. A lot of the things that we're talking about in these plans are things that the president can't do unilaterally. These are things that have to go through Congress. Now, early voting is well underway. You can vote at your local Board of Elections through the weekend before Election Day. Reporting live in downtown Columbus, Tara Jabor, 10TV News.